What my lab is really interested in is trying to understand how does protein restriction have this beneficial impact on adipose tissue or body fat health. And I want to be very specific here and say that we're not taking all protein out of the diet, but we're reducing it to a place where we want to optimize how good your body fat can respond to hormones like insulin. That is very important for optimal aging or just health in general. How does protein restriction alter or change the genes, things that make you up, to be more healthy? So within your body, you have two types of fat. You have a brown fat and you have a white fat or brown adipose tissue or white adipose tissue. What's really important about brown fat, it has this function or this mechanism called thermogenesis and so it's none shivering thermogenesis is when your body is able to heat up without shivering and that's supposed to be good because that actually helps burn white fat or by adipose tissue. So what we found out about protein restriction is that protein restriction actually browns the white adipose tissue so it makes it more brown fat. Right now, I'm trying to understand the underlying mechanisms of how that occurs. If you're gonna do protein restriction, it should be transitioned somewhere in the middle age, which is actually your mid 30s. So you should do it then, but not past 65. That's been shown before that you shouldn't do it past that because of the risk for sarcopenia and frail. Guilty.